Nuclear energy, the jewel in France's electricity generating crown. As the proud owner of Europe's largest fleet of nuclear power stations, the country prides itself on being more or less autonomous when it comes to electricity production. But this year changed that. At this power plant in Palo Alto, Normandy, all its reactors are operational. But France's aging nuclear fleet meant that at one stage in 2022, nearly half of them had to be shut down for maintenance, dramatically reducing electrical output. Once the continent's largest exporter of electricity, France is now importing more than it's exporting, as 26 of its 56 reactors remain down. When it comes to electricity imports, though, the Palo Alto site manager says it's necessary to maintain balance. There are times during the day when we export electricity, and then there are times during the day when we are importing it, since you know that electricity cannot be stored. And there must always be a balance between production and consumption, and therefore it depends on the time of day. Occasionally we are exporters of electricity to Germany and other countries, and occasionally we are importers, so you have to balance. President Emmanuel Macron plans to address France's aging fleet by putting nuclear energy at the heart of his country's drive towards carbon neutrality. Energy giant EDF, which was nationalized by Macron's government early this year, plans to construct six new reactors on three existing sites, with the first supposed to be ready by around 2035. But local activists in the Palo Alto area think the estimated 50 billion euros would be better spent on more sustainable sources of electricity. We will never be ready in 2035 or 2037 as announced. It is a certainty and it's costing us a fortune. EDF is in deficit and bankrupt. It is therefore the state that pays, that is to say, us of course. And with this money we could do much, much more in terms of renewable energies like solar and wind power and green transport. With so many reactors currently under maintenance and the country's new fleet not due for many years, France could be waiting a long time to regain its prized electricity autonomy. Christopher Pitches, Euronews, Palo Alto.